Coming up on this week in Torrance, the Torrance Fire Department may be getting a rare recognition very soon. Then a new pizza spot is opening up, but you can only get it two ways. We'll tell you how. Plus, a local favorite in Torrance celebrates a milestone. And you can honor loved ones who were serving or who have served in the armed forces through a city program. These stories and much more are just seconds away. Your local news starts right now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to This Week in Torrance. I'm Ben McCain. My co-anchor, Jen Chun, has the week off. Thanks so much for joining us. Here are your top stories. Torrance City Council voted in favor of the community to remove all signage from a busy intersection. City staff will move forward in removing a median and restricted left turn signs at the intersection of PCH and Camino de Las Calinas in South Torrance. This was a heated topic for many residents who live in the area as they express concerns that the left turn restrictions brought traffic overflow onto their street. Originally, city staff installed a left turn restriction on Pacific Coast Highway to prohibit drivers from turning left onto southbound Camino de Los Colinas to reduce drivers from cutting through traffic on the street. However, it led to a 51% increase of traffic on the next street over, which is Paseo de la Delicias. Many options were discussed during the meeting regarding studies and traffic counts. Residents who came to voice their opinion said there needed to be a solution that doesn't favor one neighborhood over another. It was also suggested during the council the construction of longer dual left turn lanes at PCH and Palos Verdes would increase movement and decrease cut-throughs within the two streets mentioned. City council members recommended staff to work with Caltrans to find a solution. Well, Torrance Fire is just months away from adding more accolades to their department. Recently, the members of the department met with a peer assessment team from the Center for Public Safety Excellence who interviewed and examined the department. They produced a final report that will be submitted to the Commission of Fire Accreditation International. If approved, it makes Torrance Fire the 73rd department in the United States and the 5th in California to hold the distinction of having an ISO Class I rating and accreditation. The department is made up of seven divisions. Well, Torrance made the list of another interesting ranking. If you've been feeling stressed out, it might be correlated with where you live. According to website Zapia, it used census data to measure objective factors that impact livability and stress in 306 cities across the nation. Well, it resulted in the 100 most stressed cities ranking Torrance at the bottom at 96, municipalities were looked at for its average commute times, unemployment rates, hours worked, population density, home prices to income ratio, and percentage of population without health insurance. Miami took the top spot, and Los Angeles was ranked at number nine. Well, if you have loved ones serving or have served in the military, you can honor them in a very special way. The City of Torrance Annual Military Recognition Program honors men and women in uniform through street banners. They are designed, printed, and then installed across the city, coinciding with the annual Armed Forces Day Parade, which takes place in May. You can apply now through February 1st to be considered. Honorees must be military personnel who are currently serving in the United States Armed Forces, veterans who have served, or veterans who have passed away military personnel must be a Torrance resident or a, an immediate family member to a Torrance resident. Residency requirement can be waived if they went to a high school in the city. The program was created in 2012. To apply, go to torrentca.gov. Well, speaking of the Armed Forces Day Parade, registration is now open for the one of many celebrations that weekend, the 5K run and walk, which takes place the morning of the City's 60th Annual Armed Forces Day Parade is now open for participants to sign up. Whether you want to sponsor the event or register a team, you can promote your company and bring everyone in your family. The weekend-long festivities begin Friday, May 17th through Sunday, May 19th. Torrance is one of a few cities nationwide sanctioned by the Department of Defense to honor the armed forces through a parade and celebration. This year, the honorary branch of the military is the Navy. 
For more information, go to torrencechamber.com slash 5K. Officials from the Torrance Libraries are asking for your help to provide feedback on their services. There is still time to take the Torrance Library survey, which is available online until January 28th. It asks to rank your satisfaction with current services, share your needs, and future ideas. There are two surveys, a user and non-user, so even if you don't use the library services, the city still wants to hear from you. The questions also include complaints and concerns to gauge how widespread they may be. You can find the survey at uh, library.torrentca.gov slash plan of service. A local business is already making an impact in the city's community service campaign. As part of the Torrance Serves movement, the Torrance Bakery accomplished its act of kindness by designing a cake and cookies to honor the city's mission to encourage people to participate in the community project. City officials hope people will step up to pledge 100,000 community service hours this month, coinciding with Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service. It also honors the service leaders of the past and present and empowers the community to bring volunteers together for service projects. Go to torrentca.gov to find out ways you can post on social media to show your participation while encouraging others to take part. The movement was spearheaded by Councilman Milton S. Herring, who requested staff to develop a city-sponsored program to honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Still ahead, one-of-a-kind pizza joint is getting ready to open its first West Coast location here in Torrance. We'll tell you where. Plus, the American Red Cross is asking for your help to combat the current blood shortage. We'll be back in just a minute. Don't go away. In four days... There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. Bye. She had so many children. She didn't know what to do. Did you have a good day at school? She gave them some broth. Without any bread. Kiss them all soundly. Night night. Good night. And put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Local organizations came together to help high school students learn how to save lives. West High School students had a special delivery as 16 CPR kits, along with 120 mannequins, were donated to the Torrance Unified School District. L.A. Car Guy made the donation to the American Heart Association, while Torrance Fire Department members and staff from Providence Little Company of Mary Medical Center trained students throughout the district on hands-only CPR. Teachers were excited by the donation and say practice in preparing for emergency situations is essential at this age when students are building their habits. It's an excellent opportunity to provide hands-on practical application for our students. I think it's exciting. I think it's needed for our community and for our schools. At this age, high school students are coming into their own. They're learning about themselves. They're able to make split-second decisions, especially when someone needs assistance. It's much easier to explain to a high school student, you are in the right area at the right time to do the right thing. So just do something to help the situation. It's all about saving lives. It's, it's about helping people help people. So um, here with the training that's going on today with the students in uh, uh, Torrance School District, they're able to take their students and train them to learn CPR. Los Angeles Car Guy owns dealerships including Audi Pacific right here in Torrance. Officials say it's part of their mission to give back to the community. According to the American Heart Association, there are 1,000 cardiac arrest victims in a day. A longtime Torrance certified farmer's market vendor is remembered. Numerous stories were told as community members remembered Aki Tanaka, who is to some known as Dad Olive Guy, while others considered him their best friend. Aki Tanaka's life was honored by loved ones at a special memorial considered to have grown the best olives in Los Angeles County. Tanaka and his family 
own Sierra West, known for their unique olives. People remember Tanaka as having a good soul who enjoyed life. Others say he made coming to the Torrance Certified Market Farmer's Market special. Tanaka is considered an original Farmer's Market vendor who was one of the first 32 years ago. I remember him as a person who always is there for, for, for people. I remember him as a funny guy. I remember him as a nice spirit, a nice soul person. I remember him as, as, as a gentle person. You know, he was funny. He, um, his olives are the best olives in the world. They're not over salty. And um, he talked, well, he talked about how he used to give samples all the time. And he would get tired of giving samples. And he felt so strongly in his product, rightly so, that he was like, I'm not giving samples anymore. And people would still come and buy his olives. <laughs> My dad, he continued to make friends which is evident from the whole memorial here. It's, he touched a lot of people's lives. He was very, um, very easygoing, <laughs> liked to laugh and joke with people and do whatever he could to help them. He was always trying to make sure everybody was good. You can find olives, tempanadas, oils, and much more. Some of the specialties sold through this vendor includes stuffed Sicilian olives with garlic and jalapeno, blue cheese stuffed olives, and pitted Kalamata with garlic and herbs to name a few. Tanaka passed away on December 11, 2018. You can still find the olives at the Torrance Certified Farmer's Market. and They also have a storefront called Olive It in Los Angeles. A new credit union is assisting local employees with their finances. Calcom Federal Credit Union officially celebrated its grand opening at their third location at the Torrance Civic Center Plaza and Medical Center on the corner of Torrance Boulevard and Madrona Avenue. With more than 8,000 members, Mayor Patrick Fury says their location is central to City Hall and the closest to their main customers who are Daily Breeze and Providence Little Company of Mer Medical Center employees. Calcom Federal Credit Union celebrated its 50th anniversary just last year. We provide simple but very uh, important service to our community here, especially with the Little Company Mary employees. Um, the, the financial services that we provide them helps them save a lot of money in interest and also um, help them with uh, a lot of money and the dividends that they earn from us. Really, I'm very, very excited when every a business either locates in Torrance or relocates in Torrance. It shows that we're a business-friendly community and we're a balanced community. And one of those balances is the financial aspect. So it's really good to have a bank or a credit union so available to the community. Galcom Federal Credit Union is a not-for-profit financial institution. It is owned and operated by the members through a democratically elected board of directors. It focuses on efforts to bring the best technology and operating methods and much more which are all built around the foundation of a family to serve its ever-growing credit union membership. To see if you are eligible to join, head to calcomcu.org. A restaurant considered a staple in Torrance and the South Bay reaches a milestone. <laughs> Gaetano celebrated 25 years in business with loved ones, city officials, and community members. The restaurant first opened by Dory and Steve Giuliano. It started out as a deli and then transformed into the restaurant it is today. It's extremely special to have this anniversary because my family's been in the, the area for a very long time and uh, we've put a lot of blood, sweat and tears into this business. And it's special not just to us, but our whole team because our team, uh, without them, this place wouldn't be the, the great restaurant that uh, it is. The people in our city love to eat and they love to eat good food. And Gaetano's has been here now for 25 years, and the reason for that partially is because obviously they have good food, but it's also a great family. They participate in our community. Uh, they care about our community. They're a part of our community, and that's why people support this restaurant, and that's why it's been here for 25 years. The eatery serves quality Italian food known for its great customer service. You can stop in for lunch and dinner to enjoy fresh pastas and much more. 
The family also owns another restaurant in Torrance called Badalino Kitchen. Gaetano's restaurant is located at 2731 Pacific Coast Highway. Well, a Russian-based pizza company is bringing its delicious flavors to the city of Torrance, but there are only two ways to get it. Owner and CEO of Dodo Pizza, Alina Tagova, is expanding her brand, which first opened in Oxford, Mississippi. The eatery only delivers or allows customers to pick up the -the top-of-the-line pizza. The owner says they grow their own microgreens, use organic ingredients and eco-friendly packaging while keeping prices very moderate and even have their own in-house delivery service. Now the brand will be opening its first location on the West Coast in Torrance, making it the fourth in the nation. Tacoba says moving the brand to California will make it closer to the IT industry, which is important since the brand built its own IT systems. And the original store location has a 24-7 camera that allows customers to see the food being made. Dodo Pizza in Torrance will offer thin crust and new salad options along with vegetarian choices. They anticipate opening in February. It will be located where Pazoon used to be on Hawthorne Boulevard. Well, join the first boutique hotel in Torrance in just months away from opening its doors. Blue Steam is getting ready for a soft opening soon. While construction is not completed just yet, they're waiting to get a permanent occupancy permit from the city. The hotel is the latest property to join the Ascend Hotel collection by Choice Hotels International, Inc., which is made up of a portfolio of unique boutique and historic hotels and resorts that reflect their community. Blue Stem will have 58 rooms that features vibrant hues, geometric mid-century modern furnishings, and local artwork. It will offer customers yoga and meditation classes, a business center, a state-of-the-art meeting room, and a luxurious courtyard. The hotel is owned by the Chinani family, who has operated local hotels for more than 20 years. Nira Chinani says they plan to have the grand opening in March. Students at a local high school are enjoying a new feature on campus. Bishop Montgomery High School unveiled its new theater seating thanks to donors from across the community. The Thomas More Hall Theater boasts retractable theater-style seats on campus. The hall is home to the Drama Lab and the school's comedy sports improv team. Before the project, Bishop had regular chairs for guests. There are 65 new seats as part of the installation. Many people chose to donate by naming a seat in honor of or in memory of a loved one. To date, there are 31 seats named. There are 34 seats still available to be named. Due to the many requests, El Camino College is making it easier to make an appointment with a counselor. The college launched a new and improved way to make counseling appointments, and it's now as easy as the click of a mouse. The online service is available 24-7, and there is also helpful automated email and text reminder messages you can sign up for Appointments can be made any day of the week. You can go to elcamino.edu for more information. The American Red Cross is asking for people to roll up their sleeves and give back. January is National Blood Donor Month, and the American Red Cross has issued an emergency call for blood and platelet donors to give now and help with the blood shortage. During the holiday, the Red Cross collected about 27,000 fewer blood and platelet donations. The Red Cross is in urgent need of type O. Officials say this month is to celebrate generous volunteer donors and to raise awareness about the need for blood donations. Also, there have been reports that due to the increase of flu cases, blood supply is affected. Thankfully, Torrance hospitals are not facing shortages at the moment. To find out about blood drives near you, check out redcrossblood.org. Torrance South Bay YMCA encourage people to get their health checked for free. Thanks to their partnership with Memorial Care Medical Group, the Y was able to offer free cholesterol and glucose screenings. Doctors say people should usually uh, get this done once a year unless they're already, they already have a history of unusual levels. A cholesterol test can help determine your risk of buildup of plaques in your arteries Experts say a glucose test can help you find out 
If you are pre-diabetic, blood glucose usually comes from the food we eat or is made by the liver. Well, cholesterol and blood sugar uh, problems are, are very common. In fact, it's probably, the, probably amongst the most common problems that we deal with uh, for adults. And there are direct risk factors for heart disease or cardiovascular disease. Torrance South Bay YMCA offers a diabetes prevention program. It's classroom based and is led by a trained lifestyle coach over a 12 month period. Lifestyle changes can prevent or delay development of type 2 diabetes for those at high risk. Research conducted by the National Institute of Health has proven that programs focused on diabetes prevention can reduce the number of type 2 diabetes by almost 60%. The Pacific Neuroscience Institute in Torrance is looking to enroll people in a study that will help find relief for a neurological condition. The Pacific Movement Disorder Center at the institutes have enrolled patients into the prospective study Symptomatic Relief of Essential Tremor with a Calatherapy Trial, also known as PROSPECT. It is one of 30 centers participating. The study observes the extended use of the CALA-2 device on a single arm that helps with the symptomatic relief of essential tremor. It's non-invasive and the patient wears it on the dominant hand. It's stimulated by the radial and median nerves to bring relief. The condition affects more than 10 million Americans around the world where certain parts of the body shake. The device is like a smartwatch. Pacific Neuroscience Institute has since assist people with a wide spectrum of neurological and cranial disorders. Right now, there are only a few medications that can help control symptoms. The Prospect study is available at the Torrance and Santa Monica locations. You must be 22 years old with mild to severe essential tremor. Still ahead, coming up events you won't want to miss. Plus, we check in with our new sports desk anchor and producer, Leslie Robbins. We'll be back in just a minute. Welcome back, everybody. Here are some upcoming events. The Western Museum of Flight is hosting a happy hour mixer on Thursday, January 24th at 5 p.m. It'll take place at California Pizza Kitchen, located in the Rolling Hills Plaza Shopping Center. It's also a fundraiser with 20% of purchases being donated back to the museum. For more information, visit WMOF.com. Then on Saturday, January 26, you can get tax help from experts at the Garden Rooms located at 3330 Civic Center Drive. It'll take place from 10 a.m. to noon. No appointments are necessary. Also on January 26, you can attend a turf removal class at West High School in the cafeteria. You can learn how to successfully convert your landscape into a sustainable drought tolerant garden. Space is limited. To register, call 310-371-7222. And before we go, let's check in with our new Sports Desk anchor and producer, Leslie Robbins. What do you have for us this week, Leslie? Another exciting week of sports. Pioneer League action is in full swing. A rivalry game for the books. And we've got an amazing athlete profile on Emily Day, a pro beach volleyball player from Torrance. Be sure to tune in every week at 4 and 9.30. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Leslie. Well, that does it for us on This Week in Torrance. I'm Ben McCain. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.